Hi there folks, welcome back to the IB and Andy Fishing Channel. My name's Andy and IB at the moment is behind the camera. Super excited about today's episode. Really, really wanted to do this one. This is something that IB and I came, came across on the internet a couple of weeks ago and we thought we've got to get one of these. I want to try it. This is an all-in-one, eight foot, six weight fly fishing outfit that IB has picked up from Lidl of all places for £20.99. And, and it's got absolutely everything in it that you need to start fly fishing. We've got a three piece rod, a reel, some backing, a fly line, there's even a tapered leader in there and a little box of flies, all in this case for less than 30 quid. That is astonishing value for money. That's cheaper than most modern fly lines. So we were thinking, we've got to try this. We've got to find out if this is worth the money. Is it worth the time? Is this the kind of thing that if you've never fly fished before, you ought to go out and buy? Let's go and unbox it. Right, so welcome to the Paladin Black Edition 243. Not something I've seen in any shops before, not a brand I've ever heard of before, but a nice little outfit for someone who's looking at starting fishing. And the first thing I really like about this is the fact that it comes with a little kind of instruction manual. It tells you what's in there. It tells you how to rig the rod up, gives you some very, very basic casting instruction. It's not gonna get you to where you wanna get straight away, but I think that's quite a nice touch. I've seen far more expensive outfits from far bigger brands not have stuff like this in. So straight away, quite like that. So in terms of the nitty gritty, the rod and the reel. So the rod, as I say, is an eight foot, three piece, five to six weight uh, that they say on the package here is carbon composite. Now I can tell you for an absolute fact, there is not a whole lot of carbon fiber in this rod. It looks to me an absolute cast iron glass rod. I assume the only way they can get away with saying that is because basically everything in the universe is made out of carbon, but don't expect a fast action carbon fiber rod because I don't think that's what this is going to be. The handle here is a cork handle. I haven't taken the shrink wrap off yet and I can already see there's quite a lot of filler in there. But again, for the price we're talking about here, 30 quid for the whole outfit, to get a cork handle on there is an absolute miracle. Again, I've seen rods at this price point that don't have a cork handle. They have that nasty EVA handle. So again, plus points for the Paladin. I'm impressed with that straight away. Coming down here to the reel seat and we've got what looks at first glance to be a down locking, double locking aluminium reel seat. And I must admit, I was fooled. It looks like aluminium, it's not. It's very, very shiny plastic. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, for the price point, it is what it is. The fact that it's double locking is pretty cool, but I had kind of hoped this was gonna be Ali. And I don't think it is. I'm 99% sure that's plastic. Now, that last bit down here is the reel. Now what we've got here is a five to six size large arbor plastic reel little wooden handle quite a nice touch these are cheap reels this is a reel i recognized from the marketplace before but again you've got to remember the price of this outfit it's actually got an adjustable brake system on there we're talking about an outfit here that's less than 30 pounds for the whole lot i think just there on that one section you've probably got more than 30 quids worth of stuff already but there's a lot more to come from this outfit Right, so time to give it the old shop waggle because everyone knows you can tell absolutely everything about a fly rod from just setting it up and wiggling it three pieces it's pretty thick i mean compared to a compared to a carbon rod it's a very very thick blank you see that compared to my pinky finger i've not got particularly big fingers but it's thicker than that i mean there's, there's a little bit of knocking in there. there's a bit of vibration perhaps i've not perhaps i've not put in one of the sections properly i mean i'll be honest with you it's a little bit faster in the action than i was expecting I don't think this is going to be terrible, but I'm really, really excited to get the reel rigged up. I want to put the line on there, the back in. I want to see if there's any braided loops in there because I haven't seen any yet and that could be a real problem. But what I really want to do is try and catch a fish on this. Right, so exactly as I thought, I had a feeling this had happened. Quite impressed with the outfit so far, but it's just fallen at a fairly major hurdle. And anyone from Lidl or Paladin, if you're watching this, this stuff's important. You really ought to include this. So we've got a spooler back in here and that's really cool. That's a nice thing to have so we can fill the reel up a little bit. And we've got a fly line. Apparently it's a double taper six. So it's a little bit heavy for what we're doing today, but it'll do absolutely fine. We've even got a tapered leader in there. I haven't had a proper look at that yet. We'll go over that in a second. But what we haven't got is either any welded loops on the fly line and we haven't, as far as I've seen yet, got any braided loops. So unless you're confident in nail knotting, and in truth, I don't like using the nail knots at either end of a fly line, then you're probably gonna to need to find another way of fixing the back into the line and then the line to your leader. That's why IB and I've bought out some braided loops and we've bought out some super glue because I had a feeling this would be the case. Okay, so as you can see, I've got both braided lead loops on there now and the glue's drying. Although quite how dry things are going to stay for the next few minutes, I don't know because it's just started tipping it down. The weather's going to be a bit on and off. It's Father's Day and the weather's been dreadful for the last week or so. But we'll let that dry and I'll get the backing on the reel in the meantime. OK, so that's all the backing on there. 45 metres doesn't look a lot, but the line's quite thick. It looks like a double taper, so it could well be enough. Nice, easy way of getting this fly line attached to this backing without having to take it all off. I'm going to tie a giant figure of eight loop in the backing here. Go around once. 
go around twice and make this as big as I possibly can. The likelihood is fishing smaller rivers, it's never going to go out the rings anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's big. We'll cut that off. That leaves us with a, a whacking great loop there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the fly line and work out which end we attach to the reel. And conveniently, even at this price, you still get the little sticker that says attach this end to the reel. Then I'm going to go through the braided lead loop with the giant loop. Like that. Then I'm going to pass the whole fly line through this loop. And when I pull that up, there we go. That's now fly line attached to the back end. So all I've got to do now is lay this out so it doesn't get tangled up when I wind it on and we're pretty much away. Right, so that's the whole lot on there. Uh, and actually little black mark here for little or Paladin, whoever's making this, I'd say that's slightly overfilled. There's not a lot of space on there and the last probably dozen winds, it was just catching the top a little bit. A little bit too much line on there really, perhaps could have toned down, perhaps with a weight forward line there'd have been a bit more space, but that feels like a double taper. It's probably also not the kind of color that's to everyone's taste, that bright yellow. In truth, it doesn't bother me that much, but for some people that bright orange might be, sorry, that bright yellow might be a bit too much. Righty, so rod's ringed up. I just need to get this leader out now and see what it's like. The first thing I'm going to do is going to give it a quick measure. So there's about six foot. And there's about three foot. So we're looking about a nine foot leader, which I can work with. We're going to extend that out. Now, IB and I have given ourselves, just as the sun comes out, look at that, it's like summer again. <laughs> so we're going to give ourselves uh, a couple of consumables. We've got some tippet with us. Uh, and as well as the flies that are in the pack, we've bought some of our own flies as well, because that's a seasonal thing more than just a, a starter pack kind of thing. Different flies work at different times of year. So we're going to tie a quick loop in this leader. There you go, a little perfection loop. It's generally the smallest one of the lot. You can always tell when you've got a perfection right because the tag sticks out at 90 degrees. There'll be loads of good videos on YouTube about how to tie a perfection loop. It's one of my favorites. So you can trim that tag right down without cutting the loop ideally. And we're just going to loop to loop that onto the end of the fly line. Just a point of note with your loop to loop connections is always try and get them like that so they're shaking hands with each other. You see a lot of a lot of loop connections like that and that actually it's not weak but it's weaker whereas if it's like that it's a much stronger much more even loop it's smaller and it distributes the uh, stress more evenly. Right so I think the next thing we need to do is have a look at the flies in this box and see if any of them are going to be relevant today. Okay so I think it's really sweet of Paladin to put a little box of flies. Now I actually quite like the box, that's gonna come in really handy for some lure fish and stuff, probably little drop shot weights and stuff. But I fully expected the flies in here to be of pretty average quality, and they definitely are that. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use any of these flies today in truth though. As I said, this is a seasonal thing, you'll always use different flies anyway. So as I said, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put a little bit of my own tippet on the end of this tapered leader. These fish in the Y, even though the water's a little bit murky today because of the rain that we've clearly been having, um, they're a little bit line shy. I wanna keep the fly line away from them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the end of this tapered leader. And generally at the end of a tapered leader, there's a section of 18 inches or two feet that's level. And I'm actually gonna cut that off. And then I'm gonna add a section of five pound tippet of about two and a half feet. And then I'm gonna add a section of three and a half pound tippet of about two and a half feet. Right, so I've used some 5X and some 6X on the end of the tapered leader we already had, which has made it another probably four or five feet long. And you can see there's a blood knot there between tapered leader and 5X and another blood knot there between 5X and 6X. So we've got a nice long leader and tippet section here. It keeps the fly line away from the fly and the fish, gives you more chance of catching those fish, more stealthy, better presentation. Hopefully the rod can deal with these long leaders okay. So in terms of flies, in truth, I wasn't really sure what to pack when we came out. We knew it had been rainy for the last few days. We know the river's a little bit higher. It's carrying a little bit of colour. We're just coming out of the mayfly season. In theory, it should have finished by now. So I've bought my usual box of tricks with the olives and the sedges and the little gnats and stuff. But just in case, I have bought a few mayfly as well. And actually, IB and I have already seen a few mayfly hatch off. So it could well be that just at the very last minute there, I've made the right call. I think I'm going to tie one of these on first just have a play with the rod and see how, how it casts. And then from there, we'll start looking at more technical kind of flies. But for now, I really, really want to cast this rod. I'm desperate to get going. Okay, so I haven't seen a whole lot rising. There's possibly one fish in this pool here. There's a few mayfly hatching, but to be honest, just for the first few minutes, I just want to have a play with this rod. It's going to be very, very different to what I usually use on here. I usually use a, a 10 foot plus thing. Oh, I might have to do that drag up a little bit because that's going to drive me bonkers. $29.99 outfit. 
Let's just see how it performs. Okay, well that... Oh! Take first cast! I was, I was so distracted by looking at how well that's all gone out. Yeah. Oh no, I missed him! Two takes in two casts! I was so like focused on just, you know, how does the rod perform and what's it doing? Oh, what a nightmare! But actually, I will say straight away, it's casting absolutely fine. Bit of drag there. The cork, I've taken the, the coating off the cork now, that plastic film. The cork feels a bit clumsy. In, in truth, the rod feels a little bit clumsy, but extending that leader out a little bit has definitely worked. And man, I feel really stupid because I've just missed a, I don't know how many chances we'll get today in these conditions and I've, I've just missed a really good one. <laughs> Let's try one a little bit further over. So one thing that's really surprised me, I'm going to talk about the rod a little bit more, but the first thing that surprised me here is just how nicely this line lands on the water. I mean, it's, there's no great memory in there. It feels quite soft in the hand. You know, it's not a real hard, cheap, plasticky feeling line. But no evidence of it going under. It's floating absolutely fine. The colour's a little bit abrasive maybe for some people, but I don't mind it too much. But it does land absolutely beautifully. And just extending that leader out slightly has just helped me turn things over a little bit more delicately. I must say, so far, pretty impressed. But I'd quite like to go and find some more fish to cover. Let's try that. Ah, trap. Got him! Got him, got him, got him! Oh, go, no, no! Whoa! Right, where have I left the net? Panic! Whoa! Cool, strong fish. Strong, strong fish. Nice rainbow, nice wild rainbow. Come on, buddy, stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Just this once, give me a break. No, get out of there. Get out of there, thank you. Come on, 29.99. Little fly fishing setup. Tricky wild rainbow trout in the net. Come on, that's it. 30 quid. 30 quid setup, wild rainbow trout, let's go, yes! How exciting is that? 29.99 fly outfit, wild rainbow trout, and it's a nice one as well. These things are bonkers when they get on the bank, by the way. You've seen me and IB drop a few of these in before. We'll do our best to show you this fish, but they go a bit nuts. Let's go. Paladin, 29.99, rod reel and line, wild trout from a difficult river at a hard time of year on a really tough day. Let's get you back, buddy. Oh, it's still strong, it's so strong. IB, what'd you make of that? Give me some. <laughs> that is so cool, I'm so excited about that. I thought I might have messed it up when I missed those ones earlier on, but I was very lucky. IB saw a riser upstream, we made the fly change, we made it happen. Whatever happens for the rest of the day, if you're buying the $29.99 Paladin fly fishing outfit, it works. It casts nicely. It's all right. If it's all you've got to spend on a fly rod, get out and buy one. Take it up. It's absolutely fantastic. For now, I be you're up. You go and have a cast. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm very excited to be back in the videos as well. And to be fair, nothing changed and you still can't hit a fish, you know, um, but obviously I am super keen to try this rod. With Andy being a full-time fishing guide, it's his job to be really good at this. Uh, for me, it isn't, and I'm fairly new to fly fishing as well. I've only been doing it for three and a half years, so I really want to see how I'm going to get on with it, and at the same time, try and set the record straight to the point where we can hook a fish on this vlog. But let's have a go. Oh God, this feels very interesting. <laughs> Crikey. Um, okay, this feels really odd. It's, oh my god. Uh, it feels really heavy and light at the same time, which is really like the line is going out of the rod really, really nicely. But the rod feels like a broomstick in my hand. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. It casts really easily, so effortlessly. It's like you don't have to, if anything, I'm putting too much energy because I'm obviously. I'm just used to that. 
um, but at the same time it's so heavy and bulky like I can tell you right now I could not I would probably not be able to fish with this rod the whole day because my hand would just get too tired it's really heavy really bulky but at the same time fluffy and sturdy and st I don't know I can't even describe it it's so odd and it's so weird so we're gonna go and try and find some more rising fish so hopefully I can christen the rod as well alongside Andy and his beautiful rainbow This is a test for that rod, eh? Let him go if he wants. Don't pull, don't pull back too hard. It's a nice fish. That is ah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> What a fish! <laughs> it's huge! Oh my god! That might be a PB. It's a big fish. That might be. It's a big fish. Jeez, if it's not, it's not far off. On the 29.99 outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so as you've seen, very exciting, super cool. I think that might be my biggest, PB, uh, my biggest trout as well, PB brownie. We will see. The trout is blind in one eye, just like I am. But also, it's the same fish that I rose the first time. I've got my fly back. Just proves that they don't care as much because, like that fish was back on feeding two minutes later and feeding quite heavily as well. You know, fed quite hard. But I can't wait to show it to you. Oh, yes, I'm just gonna get my hands all wet. Look at that. What a fish. <laughs> and you just took um, some pictures for me as well. But what a, mem what a memorable experience. 29.99 pound rod. Uh, I probably caught the biggest fish of the day or of the month for, or even of the year for me. Lost it, caught it again, retrieved my fly back. And it's just so cool. I'm gonna put the body back. <laughs> so so cool so so cool that was absolutely amazing we walked up to this pool and i said to ib i've been putting people on this pool all season there's a big fish in here one bloke rose it and missed it but other than that no one's managed to rise this fish ib's risen it twice, twice. and actually hooked it twice <laughs> twice in the same day absolutely astonishing so yeah within five minutes of breaking off on that first one we got him in we so you, you yeah. caught him we got yeah. him in the net and IB was like, oh, the hook's fallen out, the hook's fallen out. But I could see there was line going in the his line, mouth. The line, yeah. So he must have just either coughed up the original fly or maybe it just fell straight out. But that was amazing. At one point, that fish had two mayflies two in it mayflies in five in minutes. Mouth, that was yeah. meant to be. I would say, <laughs> blind in one eye like blind you. Blind in one eye like me. <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. What a great testament to that rod as well. It is. It, it, honestly, like the whole time I was playing that fish, I am not going to lie. In my head, I was going, why am I doing this on this rod? This might be the <laughs> biggest fish of my life. If I lose it because of this rod, I'm going to cry, break the rod and screw the video. But you didn't. But it didn't. You landed. It didn't. It, it, well, it dealt with the it fish right, really well. Yeah. yeah, well, not can't say really well, but it dealt with the fish. I didn't lose it, and it was fine. So, other than this fish, what's your impressions of the Ooh. rod so far? Oh my god! Okay, so it feels really weird. So I can't even describe it. It's like bulky and clumsy, but at the same time, casts the line out for you. Um, it's just so odd. I honestly can't describe how it feels. It it's just heavy and like clumsy, but at the same time almost delicate in a way. I agree with you there. It kind of feels like you've got two very stiff sections, the butt section and the middle section, which have been designed to be really powerful and hard to break. And then that tip section is a real noodle. It's a very odd rod. I, I wouldn't describe it as a great fly fishing rod. No. But for 29.99, it's a rod, a reel, a back in, a line, a leader, a box of flies. Well, I think you're casting it very nicely, but I also think it's my turn now. It is your turn. I don't know if I'm going to beat that, but I'd like to think we can get one more fish in before this rain closes in. What do you reckon? Let's try it. So at the moment, it's a big thumbs up for the little 29.99 fishing outfit. Up. Good on you, little. 
hopefully some of the bigger brands take note here because fishing tackle should be cheaper. We need to get people fishing. We really need to get people fly fishing and stuff like this. Whoever says fly fishing is really expensive. expensive. Send them a link to this video because they're yep. talking rubbish. <laughs> should we crack on? <laughs> Let's do it. Right, so I'm straight back in the same pool that Ivy had her fish from because there's another one a little bit further across that's risen a few times. That's pretty good actually, that'll do. That'll do. It's a bit draggy. It's not a bad first cast though. Let's try and drop that down a bit more gently. Oh, drag. Oh, drag. That one's no good. Ugh. Yeah, that one's no good at all. It's definitely not as big as IB's, but it's another one on the little outfit. So we'll take it. IB's going to come and help me with the net, I hope, because it's nowhere near me. It's not as big as yours, don't panic. And is in the net. 30 quid outfit. Boom! Nowhere near as big as IB's, but another one on the 30 quid little outfit. Really pretty one as well. Back you go, buddy. Just here. Massive <laughs> Huge. So when the fish took, um, when the fish took the fly, and even when the fish was rising, splashing me everywhere now, it did not look like grayling rises. And I hope you can see it in the video as well. It, they were so splashy. It was definitely like a trout rise. But um, nicely opened my course fishing season with a beautiful grayling. On a mayfly. Okay, so it looks like possibly time for one more fish because it's weather's starting to close in on us again. Oh, there's two fish here. There's the one that I could see, and now there's another one in the game. Get that in the water first. Neither of them are particularly easy casts, that's for sure. Oh, that's blown right back at me. But he is, he's in that kind of area. It's just inside the bubble line and only a couple of odd lengths upstream of me. Yeah, that'll do. Got him, got him, there he is, there he is. There he is. Here comes Glamorous IP to help me out. Yay, beautiful brownie. Beautiful brownie, another one on the 30 quid set. Give me some skin, blood. Little bit of time though in between my second and third fish, but really, really pleased to have found one. Just as I, I B and I were talking about leaving, we just snuck into a little spot we fished this morning that we thought might be a bit more sheltered. And, well, it's no monster. We got another beautiful wild brownie on the 30 quid, oh, on the 30 quid oldie set. Oh, 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 but he's, he wants to go back, so we'll do that. Go on, buddy. Go and get as big as IBs. Beautiful, sulking back. Right, well that was pretty freaking cool again. Uh, IB and I are gonna have a bit of a walk upstream in this area where it's a bit sheltered. If we get another shot, we'll take it. If not, we may well see you guys back in the car. Well, we did try and film an outro in the car, um, but when we get back, we decided it was rubbish. It was rubbish, we rushed <laughs> it way too much. So we're gonna go through this again. IB, how do you reckon that went? Perfectly.
no complaints for the first time ever in our vlog channel history i have no complaints <laughs> you had a pretty good day there and that went all right day. for you talk to us about the 29.99 little outfit the rod is really weird really odd really hard to describe it you would need to like have a feel of the rod to understand what i'm saying it's really bulky really thick like it's so thick but at the same time, it casts quite nicely. Like, you are able to make nice casts. I, again, nothing wrong with it. Like, for the price that the rod is probably cost to them and for us, there's nothing wrong. And you get a cork handle and you get an aluminium reel seed. Fine. No problems. No complaints. What do you think? So, so yeah, I kind of agree. I mean, if you're, if, if you, if you're used to casting a normal carbon rod, you will not like this rod. If you haven't done any fly fishing before and your budget is £30 to try and get into it, this is the best rod you could possibly pick up to do it with. As IB says, it's got features you wouldn't usually expect on really cheap rods. A uh, cork handle. Generally a rod at this price point wouldn't have a cork handle, it'd be Duplon and it'd be pretty grim. The real seat, I said earlier in the vlog that I thought the real seat was plastic pretending to be aluminium, but actually it got quite cold at points during the day. I think it is aluminium, it's, it's weird, whatever it is, I think it's metal, put it that way, I don't think it is plastic, I take that back, I think I got that wrong. Uh, there's a little keeper ring on there, the, I've, you know, I've seen 700 quid rods now have a keeper ring, it drives me bonkers. And even on some of the whippings, you've got little gold tippings that you wouldn't expect on a rod of this price. So actually, in terms of finish, it's not the end of the world, it's alright. The butt ring there, you can probably see that is a little bit clunky, that looks straight off of a... 1974 still star spinning rod but it does a job three pieces eight foot six weight it, it's all right it's a weird rod as ib says the two the two sections down at the bottom the butt and the middle are quite stiff they feel quite powerful and then the tip section the third section feels very soft uh, and that's what makes it weird to cast because you can tell that tip section is very noodly and then the other two sections are very stiff it's not right you know, it, it, this is not a perfect fly rod by any means. But again, if you've never cast a fly rod before, it'll be absolutely fine. Exactly the same with the reel, actually. The reel is a good solid, you know, it's plastic, but it's, it's a large arbor, it's light enough. There's a little drag system on there. It's just there to hold the line. I mean, that's, that's all it does. Nice little wooden handle. I was, I thought the reel was fine. What did you think? Um, the only thing that I found with the reel is that once you have um, finishing winding the line, the last few bits is quite tight. Like the line clearly doesn't fit on the wheel, uh, on the reel together with the backing. And that was my only fault. Apart from that, it's a reel. It does its job. The drag works absolutely fine. Again, nice little wooden knobble. It's fine. Yeah, I agree with that. Someone's got the maths wrong. Um, the line doesn't fit. It's as simple as that. It's, if anyone from Paladin or from Little is watching, uh, the line doesn't fit. It's as simple as that, it doesn't. On the subject of the line, this was the bit that surprised me the most. This was the bit I was happiest with because I was expecting this line to be dreadful. I've handled some really, really bad budget fly lines and I was fully expecting this to be uh, either horrible feeling or gritty through the guides or to hold lots of memory or just to not float. And in truth, none of those things are true. It floated all right, it went under a little bit at the tip. It's a new line, they sometimes do that. There was virtually no memory, that was the key thing. Very, very low, almost zero memory. It went through the guides nicely. It feels about right for the rod. I don't know about you, Ivy. I thought the line was absolutely spot on. It was absolutely fine. There was n the whole outfit. There was no problems. Uh, some people get put off by the colour of the line. Do you know what? I'm not bothered by that. It doesn't bother I'm me. I'm blind, so, so it helps <laughs> me to see the line. It's fine. Uh, and then from there, we have the tapered leader, don't we? Now, a little bit techy. I wasn't happy with the tapered leader, but again, for the price point, uh, it's going to be very hard to get this right. So I think the tapered leader could do with being a little bit more stout. It's a double taper six line, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a double taper six. And it's quite thick. It's good at transferring energy through a cast. The butt section of the tapered leader is too fine. And I found that we were kicking a lot of casts. I know I was, and I watched you kick a few as well. We were just, you know, the, the transfer of energy from the fly line to the tapered leader isn't working very well on me. But again, for the money, I mean, geez, you've got a tapered leader. Tapered leader's three, three or four quid to buy in a shop. So not the end of the world. What was the end of the world was that fly selection. Yeah, it's, don't use that. It's nice that they put them in there, uh, but the Chinese are notoriously bad at flies, and these are no exception. You, if you're buying this outfit, you're going to need to buy some more flies. It's as simple as that. But... I think for the money, there can't be too many complaints here, no. Abby, can there? Overall, brilliant, no complaints. For uh, the price, perfect run. I'll probably upset a few people in the industry by saying this. I possibly might even upset my own brand sponsors by saying this. But if you've got £100 to spend on a fly fishing outfit to get yourself going, I want you to buy this for 30 quid, Buy yourself 20 quid's worth of decent flies, get some fuller mills or something like that. And spend the rest of the money on a couple of casting lessons with a, a triple F or an AAP guy or a Stanek. There's loads of different casting instruction qualifications and there's loads of good instructors all over the UK. 
you are far better off with a 30 quid outfit and knowing how to cast it yeah. properly when you first get there than turning up with a hundred quid's worth of kit and not having a clue what to do with it. I think that's fair enough. That's a really, really good point. So yeah, if you've only got a hundred pounds to spend learning how to fly fish, do that. And in the end of, at the end of the day, this is just a rod. You're gonna, what's gonna matter is the fish that you're gonna have and, and the time you're gonna spend on the river, you're gonna forget about the rod completely. I have, and I had amazing catches today. So on the subject of amazing catches and this rod, there's a possibility that you guys might get your own amazing catches with this exact rod. Tell us more, Abby. So, we don't really need this rod or need, have a use for it. So if there's someone out there who's never tried fly fishing and want to try it, we're gonna give this rod away. All you need to do is be a subscriber to our channel, like this video and comment in 10 words why you want to try fly fishing. Well, I think it's really important to say, if you already fly fish, if you've got 10 rods in your, in your shed or in your garage, please donate them. We yeah, really want to give this away to someone who's thought about trying fly fishing but never quite got around to it. So if you've not tried it, if you've thought about it yet, yeah, comment below, 10 words or less, why do you want to try fly fishing and what, or why haven't you tried fly fishing before? It's probably more important. And then you can try it. And we'll send this rod off to someone. And I think we'll announce a winner when we get to 2,300 subs yes. maybe. It's yeah. about 150 subs away, so we're not far off. So from here, IB, I think all we need to say is thank you very much to all these people off the internet. Yes, thank you so much, and thank you so much for patiently waiting for us to make another vlog. Yeah. We're back at it, and we're gonna we finally are in the position where we can make more and more vlogs. Yeah, it took us a while there, but we got back. You got back with a bang. What a fish! Yes, what a fish! Guys, thank you so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. If you're not already subbed to the channel, please do that because we've got some more cool stuff coming. Please like the video, give us a comment, let us know what you think of this vlog, let us know what you think of the outfit. And we'll try and catch up with you guys again very, very soon. Let me know what you think about my glasses. <laughs> Bye. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.